The hero. What? No. More like the villain. Oh my god. This episode from the amazing world of Gumball sucks. Here are the reasons why I hate this episode in my opinion. This episode starts out with Gumball and Darwin in the schoolyard, with Masami, Terry, Banana Joe, and Hector, who talk about how great their dads are. Once the kids ask Gumball and Darwin what their father does that is interesting, Richard pulls up in his car and overhears the conversation. The only somewhat talents they can think of, sweating without moving and gaining weight, make the kids laugh. They then decide he is only good at embarrassing them all the time and that he cannot even cook, as he puts cement instead of flour in his cupcakes. Richard listens and grows more depressed on how they feel about him, and the cement cupcakes he made fall out of the bag and onto the sidewalk, thus proving their point. Richard cries and goes home, dejected. At the house, Gumball asks Nicole what is for dinner, and she says chicken and fries, which in front of both Darwin and him are just an uncooked chicken breast and a dirty potato. When Gumball asks Nicole if they can skip to dessert, Annie throws one of the cupcakes Richard made at them. Gumball and Darwin do not know what they have done to receive such treatment and Annie and Nicole tell them that Richard overheard what they said at the playground and has been hiding in the shed ever since. Gumball says he would apologize to Richard if what they said was not the truth. Nicole decides since they do not appreciate their father until they apologize to him for hurting his feelings, she will not do anything else for them. Gumball accepts this challenge as he eats the potato, and Annie and Nicole look at him in curiosity. Nicole then says she paid for that potato, so Gumball spits it into her hand, saying he was not hungry anyway. Meanwhile, Gumball and Darwin are waiting for Annie to get out of the shower, but since Nicole pays for the water burn, they are not providing anything for them. She says they have to shower elsewhere. Gumball then annoys her by mocking everything she said, so she throws the bar of soap at his nose, so Gumball keeps the soap. Even though Darwin is regretting the challenge, they cover themselves in soap and wait by a puddle on a curb for a car to drive over it and splash them. They do get splashed by the puddle, but it only covers them in mud. They regret doing that but another car drives over and splashes them again. Gumball and Darwin return home with many bags, which they all got from the clearance aisle for a dollar. Darwin tells him they have to eat the food before the expiration date, which is what Larry said. Gumball says food does not have a sell-by date. That is what Larry wants them to think, and Gumball demonstrates by eating a banana, only for it to go bad as he is eating it. He spits it out, and the two scramble to eat the food. But the eggs hatch, the sunflower seeds grow then wilt, and the meat goes rotten as soon as opened, gets covered in maggots and flies swarm the whole screen, and are they only left with a coat with no label. They hope it is something edible, but when they open it, it is a seemingly dead rat in green goo. They feel sorry for it, only for it to wake up and hiss at them. The rat flees before Darwin smashes the plate with a frying pan, and cries. The next day on the bus, Gumball and Darwin are malnourished, filthy, clothes in rags, and have flies all around them. Darwin is ready to apologize, but Gumball is not. Rocky tells them they have to get off the bus because their smell is disgusting everyone on the bus. In fact, all the students are huddled in the far right corner of the bus so they